Hello everyone, welcome to my channel today. I'm Tara with Pieces of Tara Artistry. Thank you for joining me. I am going to be doing a flip cup pearl pour today. I'm just prepping the edges with a Prussian blue. Now I'm layering my cups. That's the Charvin Ash Violet, the Pearl White, the Prussian Blue, the TLP uh, Parakeet and Lakeside. And then I just start layering them over and over again with these different colors i honestly filled them up way way too far i should have stopped about three quarters of the way up because then um the the paints don't go everywhere when you try and flip them so this is a satin enamel recipe to be honest i'm not exactly sure what recipe was used i did use um for the for like the pouring medium so I'm not sure if it, it was the 7300 or the scuff defense that was in there it was in an unmarked t uh, tub and I wanted to just use it up because uh, I didn't want it to go to waste but I think what it was was a 7300 I just didn't mark it and then the risk the recipe is in the description box below so like I said the I filled these cups up way too far and I forget when I have these hands-off handles on they're great um, I love them for tilting and they they're kind of on stilts so they keep your canvas uh, off of the table um, and they're fine normally but when you're 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 kind of going on one side or the other and and you know kind of heavily putting your flip cup on it will tilt and you'll might have issues so hold on to those handles while you use a flip cup on the ends anyway <clears throat> excuse me um i am just gonna go ahead and uh, open up these flip cups uh, i just love these colors so if you watch my videos the last um, video that I did was with this very same color combination and it was kind of a hot mess at first but I think it came around in the end so when I did that one it kind of gave me some ideas for this one and I really just wanted to do a very beginners pearl pour so again the recipe is in the description box this is not a hard technique you guys um, you just have to make sure that your consistencies are right. So I, when I say that the consistency of the base coat is very, very thin, I mean very, very thin, thin, where when I showed you the consistency at the beginning, the paint, when you pull the popsicle stick like uh, an inch above the paint, it sinks immediately. So when I did this class in... Um, Dallas when I did it in person at the fluid art experience I it was funny because I when I kept saying to people add more water add more and I would check consistencies and people would just be like more water oh no like they were afraid of water and I just got to the point where I just said don't be afraid of water you can't with a pearl pour you cannot be afraid of water you have to add in enough to make the consistency so thin that those pearls will pop to the top. And your 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 colors that you put over top, which all those um, in the flip cup this time had, um, they were just the pour over or Dutch pour colors. They um, had no satin enamels in them and they were very thin as well So you really do have to make sure that your paints are very very thin in order for this technique to work well so um, I just really tilt this one out a lot um, 
excuse me, I have a frog in my throat tonight. Um, I make sure that you see that I'm doing kind of these extreme tilts, like almost a 90, well, that's definitely a 90 degree angle tilt right there because what you're looking for on the top portion of that is for the pearl cells to start popping through. Now, when you see those pearl cells start popping through, that's when you want to stop tilting. So I can sort of see them on the bottom. I know that you guys can't see them very well, but I can see them. So what I'm doing is tilting my paint back towards the center so that I make sure that I get pearls on that top. Uh, on the other end as well. So here we go. It takes a few minutes for the pearls to pop through, about 45 minutes actually. So this is just a time lapse that I've sped up um, so that you guys can see the pearl cells. So I didn't do any modifications to this one. I just wanted you guys to see what the, the base flip cup pearl cell technique is. It's a very, it's a simple technique. It's just all about consistency. So I hope you guys like this one. If you like what you're seeing, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you're notified each time I put out a new, new video. I will be teaching this at the Fluid Art Experience in Dallas, Texas, November 17th through 19th. So go check out the website, www.fluidartexperience.com. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, stick around for the dry results. I will show you how it dried. It dried perfectly. Really, really pretty. Um, and I have varnished it. It looks great. Um, and so, yeah, I, I really am. I appreciate it. Um, also, go check out my dad's channel, DJ Fluid Arts. Uh, he's got some wonderful new paintings. And I don't know if you can hear in the background, but my Baxter is ringing his doorbell to go potty outside. And he's rolling around on the carpet. I think he hears me talking. He just wants attention. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please check out, um, I do have a How I Mix My Paints video, uh, 2022. Um, pearl cells I will link that in the description box below and um, yep I think that's about it guys I hope you guys have a good one and I will see you on the next one bye y'all <laughs>